Hello everyone, let's do a Visidata demo. So I keep all of my ethnographic notes and readings and interview notes and basically everything I might want to reference or make use of in free plane mind maps. And then I have a Python utility named Thunderdell that can extract that information out to bibliographic data format like BibTeX or Siteproc, JSON, or YAML, whatever it might be. And I just loaded up that database from JSON into Visidata. And I was recently thinking last year in 2023, I read some very old texts, you know, before the 1800s. And I was trying to think what was the one thing I might have been thinking about. And so let's uh, move over to issued. And this was the day that things were actually uh, published. And this is a nested structure in the JSON, so it's also showing that's the case here. I can use the open parentheses to expand this out into separate columns. I'll note that issue date parts 00, zero kind of speaks to the way that the data structure was, but that's not a valid Python expression name, which I'm going to use later. And let's then use the command completion to clean that up. So now, it uses underscores, so this is a Python variable that can be referenced in an expression. It's still not very nice. So let's just go ahead and rename this column to uh, published, or pub, pub year. And let's also go and find the column uh, where I read something. I think that's called accessed. So we'll look for the accessed column. There it is, accessed. We need to do the same thing to this. So we'll break it apart. Access date, again, is a kind of cruddy name for a column. So let's just call it red. Now let's move this closer to the published column with the command uh, shift H. We'll move it to the left. Oh, I overshot. So let's move it to the right. So now I have the pub year and the red. So if I, so I know it's 2023 that I read it. So we can look and select all the items from 2023. I read 466 things in 2023 that I might want to cite. I can then open a new sheet and there's all the 2023 things. I could then sort by pub year and see, oh yeah, I read Dutton, supposedly the first advice columnist and he published the Athenian Mercury back in 1690. So that answered my question, and I can look at some of the other older things that I read then. Something else I could do is I could use a Python expression to find some of these older readings. So what I'm going to do, I'm back in the original sheet. I'm going to do a Python expression selection. Well, actually, let's first global untoggle, unselect all the rows. So I'm going to do a Python expression and I'm gonna to wanna to find things that I read in 2023 and the pub year was before 1800. That found three things. So then if you can't really see them right here, they're much further down. Like there's a lot, there's 13,000 rows in my bibliographic database. Uh, but I again can use the quote character and that will zoom in and here I can see the three things I read in 2023 that were before the 1800s. And then if I want to dig into any of these, of course, I can just hit enter. And, you know, I can see what's going on. Issue, the title, URL, when I read it, again, the volume, where I came across it, the Internet Archive. So I hope that was interesting. Bye-bye.